Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Wednesday, 3rd of October. I'm recording this video 20 past 5 in the evening on Wednesday the 3rd. I'm going to go through the daily charts, all of them first, before we jump into the hourly. Our daily charts have a roundabout and even probability that this first one requires a new all-time high. The midterm target at 1508 is exactly the same. Our expectation of more upwards movement is exactly the same. At 1508, wave 5 green would reach equality in length with wave 1 green. We still don't have confirmation that this fourth wave correction is over. It's possible that it could be continuing further and upwards movement could be an X wave we could see another corrective structure moving price sideways for another week or so. I don't think so though. If it's over here, it's very nicely in proportion to these other corrections so far. So it's most likely that it was over here. But if it does move any further sideways or lower, then then for this main wave count for our first, it can't move into wave one price territory, movement below 1426.68, would invalidate my labelling of this third wave. It's possible that wave 3 blue is extended and the third wave within the middle of it, wave 3 pink, itself is extending. That's actually a really common situation and this first wave count does agree with the Dow. However, if the third wave at pink degree was not extended and it was over here, then 3 blue could be over and 4 blue may have been the correction we'd still be expecting more upwards movement and for this alternate for our first wave count we'd expect wave 5 blue to be long lasting and extended. At 1607 wave C black in its entirety would reach equality in length with wave A black and at 1619 wave 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 blue. If this fourth wave extension correction does continue further sideways and this upwards movement is next wave and we see another corrective structure to last a week or so, then 4 blue can't move into wave 1 blue price territory. Movement below 1380.39 would invalidate this wave count and give us a strong indication that we have had a very big trend change. I don't think that's going to happen yet though. Alternatively, our second daily wave count looks at the possibility that we're in a second structure of a double flat or double combination and within that we're within wave A, which is subdividing as a flat. But wave B at, si at primary degree sorry, is now longer than the maximum common length of 138% the length of its A wave, which reduces the probability of the second wave count down to more even with the first daily wave count, which is why I say they have about an even probability. The midterm target's exactly the same. We're still expecting upwards movement. I still expect that this is an extended third wave unfolding. Alternatively, if we do the same treatment here and expect that maybe the third wave was not extended and was over here as we did with our first daily wave count then we see that we could have had a trend change. This structure has a complete corrective wave count and it could be over. If that's the case though we'd be needing to see a 5 down at least on the hourly chart. We don't have that, that yet. I can't see any explanation for this as either a leading diagonal or an impulse on the hourly chart. It just doesn't fit. And this idea doesn't fit with the Dow, so I don't want to say any more about that. I think it's really unlikely. On the hourly chart, this is the end of our fourth wave correction. This hourly chart and the alternate suffice for all our daily wave counts except the second alternate, which sees a trend change. For the other three, they're all seeing this movement as a fourth wave correction, whether it be at green degree or at blue degree, and this is the start of a new upwards trend for a fifth wave. This first hourly chart sees upwards movement as a series of overlapping first and second waves, with a 1, 2, 
one, two, one, two. On the five and the one minute chart, this upwards movement, despite looking like a three on the hourly chart, subdivides absolutely perfectly as a five wave impulse. So again, we have upwards movement subdividing into impulses and downwards movement subdividing into corrections. The trend looks upwards. So I expect we had another one, two, and if this is correct, if we now have three overlapping first and second waves, momentum should be winding up to increase substantially tomorrow as a third wave of a third wave of a third wave unfolds. The target for the short term remains the same at 1470, 3 aqua would reach 1.618 the length of 1 aqua. And within 3 aqua, 2 red can't move beyond the start of 1 red. This wave counters invalidated with movement below 1439.01. I could move the degree of labelling here all up 1 degree, but then we'd have a really, really short first wave orange degree. I don't think that looks right. I think this is entirely possible, and I'm not too concerned with this degree of labelling at this stage. The midterm target is exactly the same. Alternatively, it's all the same to this point here, the end of the fourth wave correction, and the other option for a first wave is a leading diagonal. If that's the case, we have a zigzag up for one, a zigzag down for two, a zigzag unfolding up for three, then we'd have a zigzag down for four, which for a diagonal must overlap into wave one price territory, but can't move beyond the end of two. So for this alternate, the expectation of upwards movement is exactly the same, the target's different though, but the invalidation point to the downside is also exactly the same. For this one, we would be expecting upwards movement tomorrow, but not with strong momentum. Overall, the momentum of this third wave should be stronger than this first, but not enormously so. At 1462, C aqua would reach equality in length with A aqua. Four down has to be a zigzag, and the final fifth wave up can be either a zigzag or an impulse. If this is correct, and we get upwards movement tomorrow, but without really strong momentum, three purple must make a new high beyond the end of one to meet a core rule for the diagonal. And if it ends around about this point with a lack of upwards momentum and then turns back down overlapping back into wave one price territory, then this will be a really good explanation. Following a leading diagonal in a first wave position, we'd expect a really deep second wave correction, so that would be also coming up. This alternate expects basically slower upwards momentum, followed by a more choppy overlapping sideways movement for longer, before we get into some strong upwards third wave movement. Overall, I'm expecting upwards movement for weeks yet, if not months, the mid-term target at 1508 is pretty much the same. The short-term targets on the hourly charts a bit different. The lower down invalidation points exactly the same. That's all for me today with your SP analysis, and I hope that members are having an awesome day.